Hi, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, depending on where you are. I'm Jen Templeton, and I'm VP of Product for the Tasking Portfolio at Maxar Technologies. And I'm excited to share with you today some of our observations on the Earth observation in industry as we head into 2025. So just to speak a foundational context here, Maxar is really pushing forward an industry that we helped create. So we were the first commercial observation satellite from a US-based company with Iconos being launched in 1999. And we have decades of mission expertise um, in this space. And similar to what we've seen in this industry over the last you know, two decades is it's really important that we're providing truth about our ever-changing planet. And we do that in the form of data and pixels. And as we're thinking about providing that, everyone's been talking about the geospatial big data problem and how we're addressing that to get to more of an insights-based future um, for an insights-based future that's really built on um, being able to answer where is change occurring or what is happening and predicting that before it even occurs. So that's a lot of the focus that Maxar has as we're looking forward to 2025. So we continue to remain the leader in high resolution satellite imagery and geospatial data. And we're expanding as we look into 2025 on that advantage to become the leader in geospatial insights for building an intelligent future that's powered by AI and ML and other software technologies to deliver the ground truth in near real time. Some of those investments that we're making specifically here at Maxar include our geospatial platform, which is called Maxar Geospatial Platform or MGP. And we're expanding the capabilities of our constellation. We have launched four new satellites this year, all with 30 centimeter class data. And we're launching two more right at the beginning of 2025 um, to round out our new Legion constellation, uh, new Legion assets as part of the Maxar constellation. We're building on our product suites. We're hiring best in class talent across the broader tech and business world and really to make that transition to the next era of earth observation. When we think about the challenges our customers are facing, I touched on this a little bit, our customers are drowning in pixels. And this has been a story in this industry for over a decade. Um, we've seen a 700% increase in remote sensing satellites being put on orbit. Uh, unfortunately, out of those out of those images and pixels that are being delivered, half of them are probably never even looked at. And even when they are looked at, people are spending 30% of their time trying to do manual data fusion, aligning data, getting it prepped and ready to go. And then we're also seeing just like in that path to predictive analytics, like a hundred of new ML frameworks developed each year. And there's not really a silver bullet in the industry right now. Um, someplace where it's all coming together really, you know, in a unified fashion that's not, you know, uh, wrought with challenges um, that each one of the different contributors in our industry face. So when we think about what do our customers need, what do they expect um, from the industry, and where do we need to go, uh, that's really based on a few key areas of focus. So here at Maxar, we kind of have four primary categories, but we're really trying to close an end-to-end -end tasking to analytics loop that is through a platform. So in our tasking components, customers can order Maxar or Umbra satellite data to collect very high resolution electro-optical or synthetic aperture radar imagery. Uh, we also have capabilities in the tasking space for direct access and rapid access programs um, for customers who need faster, low latency, more secure access to that data. And we're not just focused on the ground. We've also started looking at space. We're tasking non-Earth images of objects in low Earth orbit and, and beyond. And that's all great, but it's also contributing to that pixel problem. From a content perspective, we process our imagery um, into some of the most advanced geospatial content products on the planet. It includes the most accurate 30 centimeter and 15 centimeter um, high definition base maps and vector data that we refresh and update frequently. And we're also the most accurate representation of the earth in 3D. Uh, with 3D data sets that are used for visualization, improving positional accuracy, and enabling co-registration of multiple spatial data sets. 
And then you have analytics. So in analytics, we offer analytic products that help extract more insights from our best in class content, including object and change detection models, thematic layers like land use, land cover classification, and automated imagery exploitation. Similar to everyone else in the industry, how are you delivering all this stuff? You have a platform strategy. Uh, so with Maxar Geospatial Platform, we're providing a secure web-based geospatial software platform that serves as our distribution platform. It enables tasking of our satellites, storing of our content, and running analytics on demand. It's the back end for most today and soon all of our user-facing software applications. So um, one of the familiar places in that, or items in that product suite is probably MGP Pro, which is our subscription product that provides secure on-demand access to our tasking content and analytic products as well as APIs. But where's the gap then? So the gap is really in closing this loop. So it's transitioning from that geospatial big data pixel provider to that end-to-end -end analytics, as mentioned, to really provide that predictive, more, more ground truth in near real time about what's happening and even what's going to happen as we look to the future. So when we think about that future, we want to be able to answer questions um, instead of being really question-based for specific verticals, instead of being, oh, here's content. Now, like, take that content, take newly tasked imagery. Let's figure out the workflow. Um, let's process that. Spend 30% of our time aligning on the problems um, in order to just get the data right before we can even answer the actual end-user question. And the question is never, um, tell me how many airplanes are sitting on a tarmac at some airport. And it's not... Um, how many cars are sitting in a mall parking lot at 11 o'clock in the, in the morning. Um, object detection helps you do some of those things, but it doesn't answer those underlying questions um, in a really ease, easy way. And so when I think about the industry future, that's where, that's where we need to go and head to is those secure real-time insights that answer the actual questions of the underlying verticals who use earth observation data. Thank you for your time and opening here just to talk a little bit about Maxar's perspective on where the state of the industry is and the primary challenge that we still need to overcome um, and the lack of silver bullet, even though this problem has been addressed for a decade. Mm -hmm.